Hi, my name is Lisa Naylor and I am the MLA for Wolseley. Today is the start of Eating Disorder Awareness Week. From February 1st to 7th every year, eating disorder advocacy groups across Canada unite to commemorate EDOC with a national week of action focused on educating the public about eating disorders. The theme for 2022 is everyone has a role to play. Many provincial and one territorial government officially recognize EDOC. However, it is not recognized by Manitoba's government. This is a time to escalate awareness here in Manitoba of the impact of eating disorders, the dangerous stereotypes and myths, and the needs for more supports for people living with or affected by them. Many people don't realize that eating disorders affect people of all genders, sizes, sexual orientations, ages, socioeconomic backgrounds. The social determinants of health influence the development of eating disorders and access to care. Indigenous, black and racialized people, queer and gender diverse people, people with disabilities, people with chronic illness, and people with co-occurring mental health conditions or addictions all can develop an eating disorder. Folks without access to health care, mental health supports, housing, or income security are far less likely to access available treatments. More than a million people suffer from eating disorders in Canada, and some estimates put the number well over 2 million. Eating disorders are serious mental illnesses that affect one's physical, psychological, and social function. They have one of the highest mortality rates of any mental illness. Before I was elected to the Manitoba Legislature, I worked in the field of eating disorder and treatment and prevention for many years. I know firsthand the impact on individuals and their loved ones. The pandemic caused a spike in eating disorders across the country and has caused treatment wait lists in Manitoba to double or even triple. I've been working on a private member's bill related to this that I hope to introduce in the legislature in the spring. And in the meantime, I want to invite each one of you to participate in helping to put EDAW on the agenda of the Manitoba Legislature. For the next three weeks, there will be a petition circulating that will then be presented to the Legislature in March. It must be signed in person, not electronically. Copies will be available in various places around the city and I will continue to update my social media with where folks can go. For now, the petition will be available in various constituency offices here in Wolseley, also Union Station, St. James, Notre Dame, Fort Gary, and the boroughs currently have copies of the petition. As more offices or individuals are able to host the petition, I will post that information on social media. Setting aside one week each year to focus attention on eating disorders will heighten public understanding, increase awareness of culturally relevant resources and supports for those impacted by eating disorders, and encourage Manitobans to develop more peaceful relationships with their own bodies. For these reasons, community members are petitioning the Legislative Assembly of Manitoba to support a declaration that the first week in February of each year be known as Eating Disorders Awareness Week. Everyone has a role to play. So I hope you will join the efforts and please follow along my social media this week as I post resources for EDA or visit the National Eating Disorder Information Center, netic.ca, for more information.